doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, just hanging out, Callie. Inside. <laughs> I was wondering if I'd get a tour of the place. Yeah, sure, come on in. to show but uh this is the hallway you know when you first walk in you put keys in and other stuff you know oh and i also like to keep perfume deodorant and other things that i need for last minute items like my rings and stuff which are not inside there but <laughs> yes you know sunglasses all the fun stuff kind of just uh my my quick grab and go and get the out you know what i mean <laughs> okay so when you're not working, how do you like to spend your time? Oh, mm, I play a lot of video games. So I guess streaming because it's technically gonna be my work though. <laughs> yeah, streaming, reading books, um, sleep, lots of sleep, yeah. It's pretty much it, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is my little downstairs bathroom. Not much to look at here either. I hung that up because I didn't want to get rid of the shelf. Oh, and that's one of my paintings that I painted. I think it meant Something about crowded headspace, I can't remember. But yeah, and I like sunflowers, so. <laughs> so what are you reading currently? Ooh, so I'm really into manifesting money. Um, and so it's called The Happy Pocket Full of Money and Creating Money, where it pretty much talks about you changing your mindset and manifesting money into your life. Yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, this is my little kitchen. Da -da -da. Yo, peep this. <laughs> it's peeps, it's all, well, Easter is already done, but you know, gotta have some peeps for the peeps. These are all the peeps who come over, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, this is my little kitchen. There's not too much here. I like to keep everything pretty organized. Fruit basket, obviously, because I eat fruits. Um, <laughs> coffee, very, very important. Okay. This is, this is the life corner. Either you get life through alcohol or you get life through coffee. I don't really know which either one, but you know, it's good to have both just in case. Um, one makes you feel like death, the other one puts you back on your feet. So. This is my fridge. Lots, lots of not much stuff actually. It's usually pretty prepped, but you know, whatever. <laughs> if you only had to eat one meal ever, what would you eat? That one's a hard one, burgers. Yeah, for sure. Burgers all the time. A hundred percent. You don't even have to ask because every, I'm pretty sure almost everybody knows actually I'm a burger fanatic, so yeah. <laughs> uh, this is my little laundry area space. It's nothing crazy. It's literally Kelly's pee space and I do laundry, so. You know. <laughs> you know. If you could have any animal as a pet, what would it be? Ooh. I Ooh, any animal? Can I can I write it? A lion. You want Aslan? That's that's that's. If I could have any animal, it would be Aslan. Yeah, for sure. Only if I can write him. Otherwise, I don't want a lion because then it'll just eat me. <laughs> um. So this is like obviously the highlight of my apartment is. The freaking tall ceilings! It's so beautiful. I love it so much. Um, There's a whole reason why I chose this place is because I'm obsessed with lofts and high ceilings. The fact that it is a loft, that's literally why I moved here in the first place. I thought, you know, I wanted to be some big shot loft girl. And here I am. <laughs> yeah, so the high ceilings, obsessed, the big ass windows that I cannot clean. This is my little workspace area. I just got this bean bag. And this bitch. But this is my little Callie there, which I'm sure y'all have met. She's adorable. So I think I know the answer to this, but where's your happy place? Oh. <laughs> this is Figured. literally my happy space. I just love it so much. Um, I don't know what it is about bean bags. I think it's just like, I always, I just, I don't know. They're so freaking comfortable. I don't know how to explain it. It's like my thinking spot, my reading spot, my meditation, my prayer, my nap time. Don't know why, this is literally my happy space. So, oh, next happy space now is my little work area. Um, this is where all of my live streaming happens. I got my entire like little setup and you know, video games over here, PS4s over here, just it's, it's 
all of my entertainment literally in one. So sometimes I don't even watch TV on my big screen. I watch it here on my laptop because it's easier. And then I just toggle between work and watching TV. So, yeah. But yeah, I just love this space. I love whiteboards. You know, hustle more. <laughs> Who or what was your biggest teacher? Ooh, who or what? Mm -hmm. Dang, that's a tough one. Oh, Ooh. give me anything. Maybe my ex, actually, one of my exes. My, I had a psycho ex that I dated that really, really tore me down emotionally and took took a lot of my confidence down to like basically ground zero. And because of that, I learned a lot um, of like building yourself and learning how to love yourself. Um, without needing somebody else to do that for you. So I, you know, even though it was tough times at that time, my ex was definitely a huge teacher for that. I'm not gonna say thank you though, because he sucks. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is my cute doggy. So another selling point of the reason why I moved here is because of the lake. You know, I just really wanted to be out by the lake and I don't know. Oh, I moved here during quarantine too, so all the gyms were super shut down and I just wanted to be somewhere where I could go outside, run, jog, do all the fun stuff. I literally did it for like a couple weeks and then the gyms opened up, so it's cool. It feels tropical even though I'm in Arizona. <laughs> so what's the first career you dreamed of having as a kid? Oh, I wanted to be a singer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to be a singer slash actress and um, that's always what I wanted to be. I remember like standing on top of the coffee table one time singing and dancing and you know telling my mom I was gonna be famous so. <laughs> now the upper stairs, let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh wait, I wanna show you something fun. This is some of my favorite <laughs> little, <laughs> look at how cute. This is Laura, this is the one who's holding the camera. Hi. <laughs> um, and then this is me. We both went uh, for my birthday on a cruise ship and we made these little 3D mannequins of ourselves. It's been the best thing I've ever bought, like honestly. <laughs> so they stay right here. You know. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's go. I know you're being a brat. <laughs> what job do you think you'd be terrible at? <sighs> Anything with math and finances. <laughs> Actually, maybe not the finance part. I think I'm pretty good with my finances, but maybe being like a, what are those people called who do the checks and balances? Accountant. I would not be a good accountant. No, that's not code for OnlyFans. I'd be great at OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I would not be good at being an accountant. If you didn't have to sleep, what would you do with the extra time? I wonder what I'd do if I didn't have to sleep. I'd probably just get to wherever I'm going 10 times faster. And it was kind of boring. Actually, maybe I'd see like what the riffraff is like, you know, early in the morning or late at night, whatever. See if murder happens, you know? <laughs> but yeah, this is my, my bedroom. So it is just a single one bedroom, I guess, loft. Um, so my bedroom's right when you walk up the stairs. Got TV for those lazy days when I don't decide to leave my bed. But check out the view from here. It's pretty too. Yeah, I just like watching the water sparkle in the morning. They're building a lot more stuff over there. I'm not entirely sure what, but you know, right now it's not much to look at, but <sighs> still got the lake, so. <laughs> if you could live in any fantasy world, where would you live Ooh. and why? Any fantasy world, where would I live? Man, these questions are hard. Maybe Bridgerton, but like modern day Bridgerton, obviously. Yeah. Or maybe I'd be like some Arabian princess. I don't know. <laughs> I guess those are two completely different things. <laughs> um, this is my little makeup station. Ta da! Ba -da -ba. This is where my face cake goes on, you know? Got a, got a got a little pretty over here. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit. <laughs> What's your favorite song? Ooh. Honestly, I think it's Chris Brown. The um. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, go crazy! Da -na 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 -na. 
I have a favorite. But it changes. I honestly like my music favorite song changes and I'll play it 20 times before I get tired of it. Like right now I'm, I'm listening to like Heartbreak Anniversary by Gibby On 100 times. So yeah. Little uh, bathroom area up here. Just jewelry. You know, taking care of myself over here. A little pamper session. My bathtub. This is where all the relaxation happens, you know? A little sparkle, sparkle. Mm -hmm. Just shower. Nothing, nothing crazy, but yeah. And this in here is the closet, but I'm not gonna show you fully because <laughs> Cause no one needs to know. But it's a big closet, just so you guys know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know what else to, this is pretty much the, the tour de la tour. Now the last question. Okay, what's that? If you could tell your future self something, what would you tell her? <sighs> if I could tell my future self, be excited because there's a lot of things coming for you that you don't even know how you're gonna get there, but you will. And life is beautiful, so take every moment with, don't take it for granted, is that what I'm gonna say? Don't take any moment for granted. <laughs> that is my tour, y'all. I hope you enjoyed my little uh, apartment tour. And you know, in a couple months, I'm gonna have to move again, but I don't know where. So maybe I'll do another apartment tour then. But uh, until next time, maybe I'll see y'all on the next uh, vlog. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe below. Um, anything you do helps me, supports me, and I really, really appreciate everything and everyone. So um, thank you for watching another vlog and toodles. Goodbye. MTV Cribs. <laughs> <laughs>